What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Keep them ringed in, and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. like why would someone do that i don't know but i see tracks heading in this trip i say we follow him all right lead the way god damn it could it have been an animal no they've been shot don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Yeah, Look, okay, another boy. dead bison. On the hill to the right. 
Come on. Sean left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. There, boy. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. shoot those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison <laughs> calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did we shot them bison we'll shoot you too if you don't get what business is it of yours what we <laughs> ah! it's that business of mine good god you're crazy i got a family a family don't shoot me Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. <laughs> Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, a plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Let's go, girl. You're all right, girl. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said. The end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something in a... Tristan told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. up on this ridge. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> There they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. Right now, for your own day! Oh, no. 
No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing California shit! Yeah, we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn! You okay? Thanks, so. though. Just keep your head down. Let's finish. job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. There you go, boy. Let's trip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with this, will ya? Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this. You shooting it or not? That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. 
Look at that. Hey. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Are you gonna deign to join us, oh great one? You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Now, oh, big place, right? Pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just 
stay quiet. Creepers, Finn. Don't score notions in the Dicky Flemings' head. Where you stay been now, Nuke? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone for ten minutes, I was. You can hardly get golden all day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What are you doing? What? Get no, down. Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Damn it, if we get caught, it's on you. Shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing out here? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet! Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Uh, sounds good. 